Welcome this ter- to this episode of Tarot Reading by Janine. Oh, okay. You can find Janine at Sending Ravens, of course, on YouTube and also at Tarot by Janine. <laughs> Janine, welcome to the show. Hi, everybody. Hi, Jean-Claude. How's it going tonight? Good. Much better than uh, the last few days. Yeah, Monday was uh, tough. You and I did the live stream. But man, I got to tell you, Tuesday was tough for me. What the hell was going on, Janine? Well, it was it was the end of that Pisces moon phase, and uh, it was moving into Aries. So Pisces moon will take the wind out of your sails, especially if you're a fire sign, which you are. And I have a lot of fire in my chart. So it, it takes out your fire because it's water. So it like throws water all over your fire. And in this case, it was sort of a badly aspected Pisces moon, I think, because it really brought up all all kinds of fears and fear-based thinking that I usually can hold at bay. And I understand like a lot of people write me and say, well, you got to face your fears, Janine, and you got to, you can't just not listen to scary things. And I totally get that. Like right. I understand that, but at the same time, you need to be careful. You don't sit and dwell in and uh, help create that as well. Like there's, there's a understanding the darkness in the world. Absolutely. Yeah. But you don't want to um, help manifest more of it. So it's time. like in meditation. You, you can notice the feelings coming by. You don't want to ignore them because as yeah. you try to ignore them, it messes up your meditation. So notice them and think them on their way and evaluate them if it fits. But yeah, I understand. But yet yesterday for me, man, I had to take naps. I was so tired. Uh, oh, my God. It was just the whole day was a big struggle. Like <laughs> just trying, having a lot of trouble answering my emails. Everything was just so slow yesterday. I should have stayed in bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god today's a little bit better high energy today and of course high energy in the chat thank you so much everyone for joining us live wow you guys are amazing already that's really really cool okay uh where do i start with this okay so just before we started the show two minutes before the show irene sent me her pyramid i'm like irene i need time to put this on a slide deck so okay so i don't have the video for you guys but this is her pyramid uh, that she's giving away uh to one lucky winner from the paypal tip jar tonight and she calls it wait where did she call it? Bird's nest? Is that what she said? Hold on. Robin's nest. Yeah, you can kind of see the eggs at the bottom. It's beautiful. I really love yep. it. Okay, so that's the pyramid for tonight. And also, I need to announce the winners of the last two weeks. Of course, it just scrolled off my screen. That's how it goes. Okay, so there's two. The first one was Linda Langley. So she was the winner two weeks ago. Or no, last week. And then two weeks ago was it's a company name so i'll just name the company it's ayamon llc that was the name that came out in the donation and their email address so both these people were already in contact with irene and irene is sending them uh, their pyramid so congratulations to both of you and thank you everyone uh, for those amazing uh, paypal tip jar donations you make it all possible for us and really really appreciate that and of course tonight up for grabs the Robin's Nest by Irene. And a big thank you again to Irene for all of these amazing artworks that she contributes to these uh, shows every week. So thank you, Irene. We really love you and appreciate you. Thank you. Okay, uh, next quickly, let me see if I can bring this up on the screen before we start here. Now, uh, this is the second week in testing. If you're an Insider Access Pass member, we've included this new feature called this Discord channel. So this is kind of a test to rebuild what we had on Patreon where you guys can ask live questions during the show for the Insider Access Pass members. So if you click on this, it's an invitation to the Discord channel. Of course, you need to be an Insider Access Pass member to have access to this page. Um, but please don't ask me to troubleshoot Discord. It's not our app. <laughs> so uh, make sure you have your own app ready, download it on a computer, and you don't have any conflicts on your computer. For now, we're using this third-party app to see how it works. And there's a lot of people in the live chat now, and a couple of questions are already popping in. So it seems to be working. Uh, and we'll take a determination if this continues uh, to work well. We might stay with that. Or I might pay the developers to add in a live function chat here on the Insider Access Pass main library moving forward. But anyways, these are just little things that we're trying to improve and um, uh, add to the service here for our members. So thank you everyone for that. And we'll be taking uh, questions there tonight. So uh, Janine, first question today, and I think a lot of people have the same question. And this is from Lynn Guillard, maybe I think is the, uh, the name. This came in on my 
pay-per-view customer support form a couple of times. <laughs> That's a no-no, guys, but I'll do it anyways for this one. Okay, so let me read this. It's a little bit long, but essentially she's saying that a Monkey Works has been doing all these shows for months now, showing numerous flights going all of these places, and we don't need to say all the details here, but people don't understand. And she's saying, is this true? Can you please ask Janine uh, what Universe has to say regarding this issue? Is it going to be okay? Question mark. What's going on? Because it looks, quote-unquote, dire. Thank you for all you do. So that is a sentiment that I'm sure a lot of people in the audience have right now. What's happening? Are we actually rounding up the bad guys? And this is what all these flights are all about. Is it as dire as it looks? Let's start to get a read on that and um, give the audience here well, an understanding maybe of where we are and where we stand here today. When she says it looks dire, what, what part is scary for her? Just I just want to understand it. She doesn't make that precision. She starts by saying the preamble is all of these flights going everywhere. And then she asks us, is it going to be okay? Well, actually, yeah, she's talking about Afghan refugees, a whole bunch of stuff in there. Basically, okay, she's asking, is someone in charge? Can you please ask the universe to read this issue? Is it going to be okay? Uh, meaning everything that's going in the world right now, it looks dire. That's how I'm reading or interpreting her message. Okay. okay? All right. And that was from Lynn. So thank you, uh, Lynn. But please, guys, don't use the customer support chat email. <laughs> it's already blowing up, and I need to respond to those people. All right. So Lynn, what can we tell Lynn? Well, it's not dire. So the outcome is good. It's to the advantage. So whatever those flights are doing, Okay, they're not the bad guys doing it. It's not um, the dire, like, it, it seems to me that a lot of people, like, we don't know what the flights are doing or whatever, but uh, why assume they're going to, they're bad? I mean, I get it because we're discovering that almost everybody and everything we can't trust. So that likely where that comes from, mm -hmm. okay? but it, no, it absolutely isn't dire. All the cards around it look like it's to the advantage of, and it has something to do with some deals that were being struck. Hmm. That this, kind of ties into our show on Monday with the yeah. uh, render thing there. Yeah. Yeah. Deals being struck on both sides and some people even coming over from the bad guy's side to the good guy's side, because I'm sure there's a lot of jump and ship right now because they know they lost. So you better believe they're all jump and ship. Anybody that's left standing. Absolutely. Yeah. Let me see if I can find this. Oh, do you have more cards to pull on that? Uh, I just pulled the ace, an ace. And uh, so there's a bunch of relocation going on. And they're also taking people different places. Uh, but some of it's for healing and balancing. So that's interesting. Hmm. I wonder if one of those spots that there's a lot of traffic to is a place for Maybe people that have been involuntarily in the dark cult. Remember we talked about this? Yeah. And they're asking to get out of it and be helped out of it. Hmm. Okay. I don't know. It, this looks like some of those flights have to do with a relocation to the, to the good of or for the healing of people. Hmm. Maybe it's even people they're rescuing getting in various places ah uh, that makes sense too yeah 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 okay okay um yeah. uh, okay stefan on the live link is asking about uh i'll just say the camps for now now you did a video uh let me bring that up on your tarot by janine earlier uh so do you want to just maybe update the audience here they can go watch your video but just very quickly what did you come up with uh regarding the camps here well, we looked in particular at two different camps because two different people had one person sent me a TikTok from a Canadian fellow that apparently he, he videoed months ago, but it's really circulating right now. Um, and it was a place that I've been many, many times. I knew exactly the area. It's around a place called Vanderhoof. And it's in it's kind of like if you go to Prince George in British Columbia. Mm hmm. You're close, and then and then head north on the uh, Highway of Tears. You're going to hit Vanderhoof. It's on the way to 
Prince Rupert. So the most northwestern point in Canada would be Prince Rupert. I'm thinking the most like town that you could go, the uh, northwestern point. And then right. you take the ferry to the Haida Gwaii from there. So I've been through there many times. So I, I wanted to do a reading on that particular. So there what appeared to be a one of those camps that a lot of people are fearful that are going to be for rounding up people that haven't got or just or just uh, causing trouble to uh, the the current agenda. Okay, I, and what I've consistently got around these camps and so many we've done so many shows. I've done so many shows on those camps. Okay, mm-hmm. we're always discovering them all over the world for the last couple of years, and apparently they've been around for at least fifteen years. Okay, people have been talking about it. Yeah. And uncovering them. And so, yeah, I think they were originally made for nefarious reasons. And we know they've been planning this scam for a really long time. What's going on right now? We mm-hmm. know they've been planning that for years and years. And actually, all day, there was more and more evidence came out. All day, it was uh, the drops were all about how long they've been planning this for. And yeah. of course, we all knew that anybody watching these kind of shows, they knew that. But this is becoming really public knowledge. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so these camp, the one I looked at in BC looked like it was actually going to be for healing and recuperation. Okay. Wow. So that was interesting. And yeah. the official story on the camp, if you look up the area, is that it's actually for pipeline workers. Okay, but that's not what I got. I got it was actually going to be for healing and restoration. It was the lovers and the temperance. None of that's nefarious when you have them together. But it was it, it's okay. They don't mind if you get scared. Right. Uh, they want to scare you. Yeah. Because uh, there's a lot of sleeping people that need uh, need to be awakened, shall we say. Okay, yes. then there was a lady that emailed, or no, she texted me. And so she texts me quite a lot. And she was concerned about a place. Very, very same time I was looking at this other TikTok uh, somebody else texted me and said, okay, there's a place really close to her. And I can't remember exactly where she is, but in the U.S. And um, it was out in a, in a des- desolate area as well, like or not so populated area. And that's where, where they put these camps, right? And it sounded exactly the same thing. It sounded like big fence around it and outbuildings that... Uh, the interesting thing is the, the guy on the TikTok showed the buildings and they didn't look like they would, that if they were going to try to keep us in there, say it was us that like, they really, they were really flimsy looking, you know, just for starters, just saying. Okay. Okay. And uh, they had these big billboards and one of the billboards that he zoomed in on said, one is too many and a lot. And he was assuming they mean one person uh, spreading the, you know, what, one person having the illness. Right. Well, you know, that's interesting, but uh, I, I, that didn't feel right to me. And uh, other people were writing me and saying, no, that's a saying from the underground railway uh, saving children programs. Mm-hmm. One, one slave is too many. Yeah, or one, yeah, slave, one yeah. life is, yeah. or yeah. one abused child is too many. Right, right, so right. That's interesting. So what I actually got in the BC one was it was, going to be possibly for people who are either involved in being used for the party substance or actually had witnessed that, gone to rescue people like that and needed healing from the experience of it. Then the other ladies camp I got was nefarious in the beginning when it was built and had been uh, overtaken and is, is now flipped and going to be used for something else entirely different. Hmm. So, A- any take on what that difference might be? Uh, well, no, not. I didn't. I don't At think I looked okay. further, but I okay. have in the past. And whenever I saw them taken over by the good guys, they seem to be potentially for abusers of this whole agenda. Like, not not as bad as going to the spa abusers but sort of the mid-range people that are pushing agendas that they know are wrong. Okay. 
Yeah. Okay. Let's do this one quickly here because uh, we might have to do a deeper dive later on. But somebody's asking Carla and a few people in the chat already, was this Melbourne earthquake, the 6.0? So Red oh, yeah. was telling me this yesterday. Is that natural or man-made? What the hell's happening there? Is that underground bases being exploded? What so that was the second one in two days. Isn't that true? I believe that's the case. Yeah. And it's crazy over there with the, what the cops are doing to like Cliff posted something the other day. He said they, that government could be two weeks away from falling if this continues at the rate it's going now. Yep. So absolutely crazy. Well, we do have a tricky card around it. So there's trickster energy around it. We've got the lovers and the judgment. So that's interesting. It It's likely uh, an operation that's to do with, again, healing and balancing and uh, an, ex an extreme situation. So they're going into an extreme situation to heal and balance. Hmm. And or even like there's even justice to the number six here. So, I mean, that could be clearing out dumbs. And I got in the middle of it this card, which would be integral, uh, honesty, and good for the people. So that doesn't sound like a natural occurrence. I think they're doing something there that's going to be eventually good for the people. It's around balancing and healing the area. So that could be clearing out dark activities. Okay, and this was the outcome. Moving out of troubled water. Uh, so they're they're shifting something so they move it out of what was a troubled area or a troubled situation. Hmm. Wow. Also, it looks like you're going to get information on it really soon. Like, I think this is all coming out really soon. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot coming out. Oh, my God. It was like two shows a week is not enough, Janine. <laughs> At some point, uh, but you and I need to sleep, of course. Okay, yeah. uh, let me take this first question here from the PayPal tip jar. Thank you so much. And this is from Angela Olson. And it's funny, uh, just before the show, uh, Janine and I were talking about whether or not we should do maybe a special show once in a while to talk about people or to answer questions, personal questions about personal finances, because a lot of the questions that come through the PayPal tip jar is all about personal finances, including this one. Uh, but this one goes to the whole group. So let's uh, tackle it. Uh, Angela is asking, can you guys see that? Okay. Uh, are we the common people in North America and across the globe going to be able to exchange our dinar currency in the near future, September slash October? Thank you. So by exchanging it, she means exchanging it at a much higher rate also as is being uh, purported uh, in these circles here that at some point there'll be a revaluation of sorts and people holding these dinars uh, would suddenly see um, an increase in their value. Uh, and the reason she's asking we the common people because apparently in this reset there's different tiers where uh, government type officials or sovereigns would have a different deal and we the people would have a smaller deal. So I think again that's a narrative being played out out there. So what do you think Jenny? So this is the, uh, the, the dinar itself. So I think it's already been reevaluated to a much higher because this card's abundance. And this card, we have the hermit. So deep wisdom. And it might have been being held up till now because of the wisdom of off worlders, ancient knowledge, the advice from uh, wise ones. So that seems kind of interesting. And right now, between those two cards is the tower. So I got a feeling there's all of this stuff going on that might have held it up. Because a 10, it seems like it's already been reevaluated. And the 10 in the background tells me it's already done. Tens are finished something. So it went to the nth degree of something. But there's a whole bunch of things about to, I feel like the financial systems about to crash. I feel like this weekend's going to be a mind-blowing type weekend with a card like that. So it seems to, to have put it off a little. It's already been reevaluated from what I can see. And then we got an outcome is a yes. So it goes ahead maybe after some, some big things get cleared up or that work themselves through. Okay. 
Yeah, so it's it is it is reevaluated already. It's ready ready to it will come available. I, I do consistently see that. Right. Okay. And speaking about this weekend, um, yes, you and I have been tracking quite a few things here. And of course, we're, be, we're going to be recording uh, episode five of the Beyond Crypto Woo, the September uh, forecast report here uh, on Sunday, or I believe Sunday, maybe Saturday. So folks, if you want to get your tickets, you can do that now. The episode is available on pre-order. And also uh, think about maybe purchasing the Insider Access Pass here, which gives you uh, advanced access to all of this content. And of course, you save money on the long run. And at the same time, uh, we might have some payment processor issues and bank issues <laughs> here going forward. And this is why uh, Janine and I put together this coupon code. Where did you go? This one here. Stay connected. Uh, Janine, explain this a little bit to the audience here who might not have seen our last show. Why did we do it this way? What's yeah. the whole idea about stay connected? Well, we are getting pretty consistently and we have for quite a while that there's going to be some rolling blackouts. Uh, money system gets shifted over but there could be three or four days at a time where you can't get to a bank machine because they're all closed or there's no online banking maybe right. for a few days at a time i i never get that it'll be 10 days straight like some people are, I, i'm not getting it like uh where the black it's like blacked out and you don't you have days and days of not accessibility but two or three days here and two or three days there rolling over maybe a month or whatever and i think cliff high was getting something similar so there's just the possibility of that it's a pretty big high possibility with with all the pending things about right. to happen about to go down right. so it's just a good idea if you had some backed up things you could watch right so you want to download your favorite movies and or <laughs> and your favorite your janine episode <laughs> your favorite janine and jean-claude episodes right you know like then you have access to and that's why it's called yeah. an access stay connected insider yeah. access right because uh, you can stay connected with us too, because there could be days and it'll feel, it'll feel like disconnect, right? Like we're right. so used to going and watching our favorite people on YouTube. At least I am. Like what I'm finding is there's less and less on YouTube. You have to really go looking for them now on BitChute. Yeah. On, well, on YouTube's Google. doing a good job removing everyone who's talking. To they did. Yeah. <laughs> they did nasty. Yeah. So. And yeah. same with Patreon, of course, and this yeah. is why we have the Insider Access Pass now yeah. on our website, and that can be found at beyondmystic.net forward slash pay-per-view. Yeah. This is the full gallery. You can, um, how do you There's say? A lot Try. There. <laughs> There's a lot there, yes. Absolutely more than the value of the yearly access pass. And somebody was asking again today, what's the monthly status? Still, PayPal has not accepted our increase of our um, um account status to be able to hold credit cards to do monthlies. We're still hoping for that. But in the meantime, at least uh, the annual one is there for now. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's move to this next news story here. You and I have talked about this gentleman before. This is from Martin Armstrong, uh, armstrongeconomics.com. Uh, he put it out this um, uh, document here on September 22nd. And basically the title is, we are winning. Um, this I believe is, where's this one? Romania and there is also Algeria here today. If I look at some of these uh, amazing <laughs> pictures, that's uh, more than a few thousand people, as was reported by the news of people here contesting. And yep. we won't say what they're contesting. Yep. Uh, and same thing here also. This was Algeria. Can you imagine? So we're seeing this across the world. We're not seeing this in Canada yet, uh, but the point is that trend is continuing. Yep. And as you know, here in, in, the, in the West, we were hit later by all of these events. We were hit later by everything. So it makes sense that our walk to the street, if we want to call it like that, will be a little bit later than in these countries who were hit uh, faster and harder, perhaps with these totalitarianism um, uh, steps. So where do we go with this? At this point, people are trying to figure out if the wave is going to stop before it hits North America, meaning that perhaps uh, Mr. B and Mr. T here, who was just reelected in Canada, will they reverse course or will we need to see that wave hit North America before they reverse course? That is the question. Okay. So just, just to say, um, I don't know about your area, but I looked around today on DuckDuckGo. I, I asked, uh, asked to look up, what was I looking up? Um, restaurants that don't require the you know what aspect. Mm -hmm. 
the pass or your paper. Yeah. Right? Paperwork, yeah. Okay. And apparently everybody is going ahead and gonna try to push that. Okay. But there's a few of them haven't been able to open because they've been, this is what I read, they've been inundated with nasty phone calls. Uh, keep it up, people, if you're doing that. I've definitely been uh, doing that. Uh, they've been inundated with uh, emails that are saying, don't you dare uh, cut off people who haven't got the you know what. And uh, they're going to lose a lot of clientele. And some places have just decided not even to open because they're so torn apart by what to do. Mm -hmm. And I have it on inside authority that there's people running these restaurants who have no intention of ever getting that themselves, but they're actually asking for that at the door to save their ass. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. to me, that's blatant uh, two-faced two absurdity. And people need to stand up to the government too. The government can't push these businesses around. People need to stop getting pushed around, stop bending over and uh, stand up for their rights. I'm absolutely made it my policy wherever I'm going. If anyone asks me for my papers, I'm going to call it. I'm going to ask them for every single person's papers in the place, including who cleans it at night. Before I show anybody any papers, I want to see everybody's papers hmm. on their health records, please. That includes whatever latest test you've been getting on. I don't care what. Show me all your papers. Hmm. If we're going to do that. Yeah, we need to push back. Um I agree. At a certain point, I mean, oh, I can get it. <laughs> okay. Uh, Jenny, we're, we're, okay, let's get back to some questions here because if you get me on a diatribe here, I'm going to keep going on this. All I'm right, very right. frustrated with this too. And a lot of my friends are business owners too. And they're telling me too, JC, we're not cops. We're restaurateurs. We're gym owners. We're this, we're that. And now we're being placed in this position uh, to face population and make decisions and, and, and we don't want to do it and so but at the same time they're facing the fines and like they're all in horrible positions i just my heart feels for them some of them are just being assholes like you could tell not my friends but some of these restaurants around here are the same way they're just like the little nazis here and, and they seem to be happy and, and power tripping over this yeah. but for the most part uh i don't think yeah. the business owners want this at all so anyways okay so the question was Will the governments here in North America backtrack before this wave of people in the streets like we're seeing in other countries? Or do we need to see that here before our governments uh, finally listen to the population? Well, I don't want to say don't stand up and speak about it because I, I think we should be doing that all along. Yeah. But I do get the likelihood of it getting backed up way sooner than later is absolutely Big, big, big. So that it's a yes to your first way you put the pose the question, which was, will this get backed up before that wave comes here? So well, that's, that's good news. So but that's still, but still, like like Janine says, don't sit on your laurels here. No. Uh, we need to stand up for our rights at every corner, peacefully. Yeah. Absolutely, we're not advocating yeah. for any violence, right. even though Janine and I have been accused of that before. <laughs> That's why we lost our Patreon, by the way, uh, even though we never uh, did that. But anyways, I digress. Okay. Well, that's yeah. good news. Okay. Let me see if I can pick a question here from this uh, Discord channel. I can see it blowing up here. Um, uh, 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 uh. I'm asking you guys to make the questions very small and short, so it's easier for me to read. Okay. Uh, Russell Edwards, let me do this one. Okay. For Janine, years ago in the forest, I grabbed a young raven. It grabbed my finger and communed. After a minute, I put it back on the tree. Is there anything more to this? Hmm. So Russell Edwards is basically saying that he called a raven. It came to his finger, a wild, in, 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 in nature. And he's wondering if there was a communication there and what that could have been. That's a great question, Russell. Thank you. Well, we got two past life cards around it. So he's been connected uh, to that kind of uh, the magic of the Raven world somehow in past lives. So there was some kind of past life. And I got a feeling that he was a, a medicine person in a past life. So I don't know what area that was in, but he might have been in an area where he was actually had another lifetime as a medicine person. I don't know if he was a man or a woman in that lifetime. But uh, so there was a karmic the area remembers him, not just 
the raven, but the area. And the, and the raven comes back and forth between dimensions, but also between time, right? Yeah, Apparently ravens, too, uh, they don't okay. adhere to the, the laws, what we call the laws of sort of time, how we see it. As humans, we've agreed to these certain um, sort, sort of uh, structure of time. And that's how we sort of play out our lifetime. But ravens, mm -hmm. they don't agree to that. So they come in and out of uh, different time periods even that's fascinating and yeah they're, they're they're magical they don't i'll, uh, I'll ask russell to let me know this in the uh, live discord chat here where are you from or where this was and i'll try to come back to you in a minute uh, so ben thompson on the screen is asking and i won't read this janine just because some of those keywords are already there that might put us in trouble so can we get a yes or no to the question that ben thompson is asking and thank you ben ben is a longtime supporter of the show and i feel for you guys out there uh, down under um it's very very dire for sure and we're seeing a few videos of the uh, type of people that ben Art is talking about now uh off camera uh saying we don't want to do this either and so uh the the shit's going to hit the fan in two weeks because they are also going to be forced uh to be uh cured here within two weeks and if they don't they will be off the force so at some point here um the rubber's going to hit the road with these people as well uh, and they are people, folks, uh, and they're in the tough bind as well. Again, there's Nazis everywhere, but there are good people here in very tough positions. So are these people going to join them? Here's a question from Ben. They are in a, re they do feel really torn up a whole lot of them. And there's going to be a big switch, really big switch. Uh, uh, the, yeah, they're absolutely going to join them. <laughs> I would say even uh, early in the in the next week or two. I'm thinking soon. Okay. Because this right. card was the next card that came, so I feel like it might be small amounts at first, and then it all of a sudden goes into really big, uh, like a whole lot of them. You know what's interesting? I found like I've been doing these experiments, so I just waltz in everywhere without a you know what, even though Calvary reinstated yeah. these mandates right and i'm always all ready with all kinds of speeches but nobody's uh, said a word to me actually and uh, all the groceries uh, like this these are just grocery stores and i went to my favorite pet food place and nobody else has said anything they all look at you like you're kind of wild or crazy or whoa what are you doing you know what i mean but they don't say anything it's so funny because calgarians are kind of simple you know a lot of them yeah. Like they, you still see them driving around in their car alone with these things on. So it's just uh, a, I, a riot. <laughs> what? <laughs> and, uh, yeah, uh, but interesting. I noticed that a lot of people start taking theirs off when they see you without yours. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. They'll all of a sudden three of them will have it off then you, by the time you get up to the tilt. So mm -hmm. you empower others. So this is what it feels like. Some of them will. In small amounts, I even think sometime next week. Uh, but then, uh, then a big, a big flood of them join. Uh, once uh, the, it initially starts out small, and then it turns into an avalanche of officers hmm. ditching. Wow. Yeah. Um, uh, Russell Edwards. Yeah, it was Eastern Washington State in the foothills of the Blue Mountains. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, let me go back to the PayPal tip jar. The next question is from Anne Francois. Anne Francois, wow, thank you so much for that tip. That's amazing. And this question hit me uh, before I see the number, by the way. Uh, but this was amazing. Okay, so I think there's something here, Janine. I want to ask you this one too. I think it's very um, energetically sensitive. Question I had a profound vision with JC and Janine where the stars downloaded huge amounts of info into me and I gave some of it to JC. What is this download about? Love you guys. Thank you so much. Now I want to know. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, merci beaucoup, Anne Francois. It was intuitive knowledge and that she's incredibly receptive. So that's her. So she's incredibly receptive and she's a really good antenna right, for intuitive knowledge. So she's incredibly intuitive. 
Okay, and this is what represents JC in the situation. Okay, so somehow you're empowering just by her watching. Is this a, that's a woman, right? Uh, uh, yes, I believe it's Anne. Yes, the first name. Yes. Yeah. It, yeah. Be, somehow you empower her to remember who she really is or what her, like somehow watching you or you trigger her in a good way, that way, somehow, or maybe watching this show or shows like it, something like that, because you're coming up as uh, uh, somebody who's just quietly receptive to the whole thing. Okay. okay so it's not literally like you're you're giving her the download or she needs to give it to you or anything. You're standing by almost, almost helping her understand how intuitive she is. Hmm. Okay. So that's interesting. And uh, we've got, so somehow you're part of, part of her process, her having you in the dream like that, right? Part of the process. And it looks like she's going to start sharing it in the future. Cause that's the near future. So that's taking action on what, you know, maybe what she knows or her information. Okay. Wow. Very good. Hey, thank you, Anne Francois. That was a great question. Okay. Next one, Marlene Warner. Hi, JC and Janine. Can you tell us what's happening in Jamaica? The prime minister, I will name him, is uh, okay. The people and they. The only reason they can leave their homes is if there's a lot of artifacts here. Can get the okay. Uh, is he working for the dark? The prime minister of Jamaica. Let's put it that way. Those are horrible conditions as expressed there. Yeah. Wow. Oh, wow. Wow. Interesting. Interesting. So we've got this. I think he was soft. Uh, told to do this, but he might be adding his own version of, he was told to keep everybody home is what I get. Okay. And it's, for, believe it or not, and I, this is going to sound terrible, but for a good reason, because it looks like there's under uh, sort of the, the cover of everybody being locked up stuff going on really big. So there's all this stuff going on really big that has to do with children. So there's a very big, something's getting cleared out of there, really big, to do with children. And he was told, or he's part of the agenda to, like, I, I think he was told to keep everybody home, but he might be using, like, he might have gone overboard, you know how they do. They're letting these guys do the bidding of what the dark cult wanted to do in the first place, but then they're exaggerating it is what I'm feeling like. Okay. So he's gone above and beyond what he was told to do. Uh, but it's because there's a, a huge operation going on under the cover of everybody's inside uh, to um, uh, get, get some kids out of there. A lot of kids, I think. Holy shit. Yeah. Imagine when all of this comes out. Like this. <laughs> I mean, wow. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, go ahead. Yeah, so some really big operation that's uh, uh, devastating to do with children. So, wow. Yeah. Okay, there was somebody in the live chat. I think it just dropped off the buffer, but they were asking if the CRA was going to be defunct. I forget what word they use here, but uh, oh, here it is collapse. Carrie. Harry Dickert, will the CRA, oh, we'll just say that for the show, <laughs> will it be collapse? Yeah. And again, this is not financial advice. Janine and I uh, yeah. will let you no. know that you, you should, you know, you know. <laughs> I just don't you really want to go there. Just choose what you do with that yourself. Yeah. I'm just going to read the cards on, and that's people it. have been actually accusing me of telling them not to. Uh, yeah. And no, that's not up with these guys, and and that's not what I'm doing. Okay. No, we're not doing you can, that. You can you uh, can decide for yourself, as you always have, what yep. to do with those guys. Yep. 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 Great question, though. A lot of Canadians are asking. Uh, we're seeing a lot of weird things coming up in the states, and of course, this particular agency is attached to the one in the states. Uh, they are brothers and sisters, of course. Hmm. 
So the question is, is it going to collapse? Mm -hmm. So overviewing the whole thing is because the cards I'm seeing here don't really speak to that, but I'll get to that in just a sec. So yeah. we've got the nine of pentacles. So it, everything's up in the air. Then I asked for just give me two more so I can help this woman with her question because this takes us right off topic over here. Okay. Okay. So, but, uh, and just before you go further, for the people out there who are asking uh, yes to the questioner, is the CRA akin to the yes, exactly. So that's what we're talking about. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So nine of pentacles is independence and sovereign your sovereign rights as an independent person, which is not about the CRA. Okay, and everything about them. So this is you. So if you stand in this, these guys um, dissipate. Does that make any sense? They're, they're, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're in, uh, they're in a lot of jeopardy because everybody knows that they're a, uh, potentially a sovereign being and if they pronounce that take their names back in the way they were intended to be and take their birth certificates and rip them up maybe. i was gonna say don't say it jenny ah! <laughs> <laughs> you guys on these live shows you sometimes i think maybe you guys are trying to trick us into getting in trouble but yeah okay <laughs> let's, let's, let's okay okay well get to the sidebar what is the other thing your cards were saying? Can you get into that? Okay, so the, yeah. So the other thing was saying uh, that everything's about to change and we're going to be in some kind of cahoots with Mr. T and the Alliance. Okay. And so, uh, but, but the, the thing itself that she was asking about that agency, mm -hmm. it starts with a C. Yep. Okay, they are in a lot of, um, they're, they're in illusion. So, you know, you, you could still buy into them if you want to be in the matrix still, or you could do that. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Uh, not financial advice, and you guys need to yeah. do what you need to do for yourself. Yeah. Whatever oh. makes you feel comfortable and what you, you would do, yeah. Right. Okay, so let me read this one. Annie's mom, number three, and uh, this is coming from the Insider Access Pass Discord channel. Question for Janine. I am training for a volunteer job as an empath, will I be able to handle it? Question mark. It is working to combat child trafficking. Love you guys. Annie's mom. Uh, okay, she's, whoever asked that question is an incredibly old soul otherworldly and came here to do exactly that heal and their energy is very healing but they're going to need to take lots of rest and find ways to replenish their energy because it'll be a it'll take a lot out of them so they're going to need a lot of downtime and not to be afraid to take days off at a time mm -hmm. uh, do not overwork yourself then then you become like you need to love yourself and honor what you're doing and and respect the energy that you're giving out because it's worth more when you like martyrism is not the way to go with that because sometimes empaths can just give all their energy away and now they're now that's martyrdom At the, you have to love yourself as much as you're loving everybody else so there's a balance so it's saying be careful not to overdo and okay. forget about your own self. Watch right? our energy levels. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, this person is uh, is going to meet a soul connected other in the work they're doing, and uh, likely have a really big connection with someone they otherwise would never have had if they didn't go that path. Um. Somebody. Okay. So uh, Ronnie and a few other of my moderators are pointing out in the live chat here. And folks, there's like six thousand of you, and the live chat is going really fast. So I'm not sure what you guys are talking about. Ronnie says, "Please see the audience questions about Mira's daughter. Daughter is missing. Is she okay? Ah, missing for a year. Okay. So I have the full question there. So let's do that. Uh, Mira's asking. Wait, Mira's mother. So the mother of Mira. Wait, Mira's daughter." Okay, so the mother is Mira. Okay, I got it. Okay, thank you. <laughs> right. So the mother is worried here. Her daughter is missing. She's been away for a year. Is she okay? Is she going to come back? What can the cards tell us? 
Thank you, folks, for pointing that one out. I think that's a good one energetically as well. My heart go out, goes out to uh, Miro. That's a tough one. She seems to be in a different country from her original country. Uh, she's she's with us on the earth plane, so that's uh, that's good. I wonder if uh, where she's from because I'm getting a really hot climate. Uh, uh, lots of vegetation, like um, Mexico or somewhere really warm and grows fruit and really beautiful flowers, something like that. Okay, six. And uh, is this daughter, does she, is she old enough to have children? Or is it child around? There her? might be a lag in the chat here. Uh, hopefully this is the Mary Kay. Oh, that's not Mira. That's somebody else. So I I haven't seen a Mira or Myra yet in the chat. And again, it's going really fast. So I don't know that I can answer that. Answer that. Yep. Um, there seems to be a child around her. So she's in, she's somewhere with people that feel friendly. Okay. She said Florida. So what you're describing is okay. the hotter weather, exactly. the flowers. That makes right. sense. Okay. She's somewhere like that. But, okay. but it could even be more south of there. Okay. Uh, but we, I have this card here. So she feels like she can't leave from where she is. So there's some, but it, it's more of a mental thought and less literal. So she's not being held captive, but she may have been told not to leave, or she may have an emotional connection not to leave. I wonder if she's old enough to have a child. She's 26. I, everybody's saying. Yeah. Okay. Cause I get a daughter around her or someone she, feels like is like a daughter to her or a young child or a baby. Wow. So, and there, that could be keeping her there. Maybe she's even taking care of that child or making sure the child is safe. She feels intellectually like she can't leave. Uh, so she's stuck, but it's in her mind. Hmm. So she could be uh, sort of held captive by programming. Or or by uh, somebody who's so good at manipulating that she's held or feels like she can't go home. Mm. But she's, she's with us, but she feels like she has a child to me. Or she's protecting a child or worried about a child and she doesn't want to leave the child. Okay. Wow. Okay. Well, thank you. And thank you guys for pointing that one out uh, to me. Um, yeah. In the live chat, it's very hard for me to pick up stuff when you guys are so many in here. I do my best guys. Okay. So let's do the next one here from the PayPal tip jar. This one is from Kyle. Uh, Kyle says, okay, Michael Jaco has been talking about getting out of them controlled states ASAP and moving to more free states. Is this something we need to do ASAP if we can, or should we hold off making this kind of move? Kyle, do we want to maybe ask the question generally, not necessarily what Michael Jacob was saying, but the whole concept yep. of maybe getting out of harm's way here. So let's frame it that way. I don't want to um, yep. uh, point out uh, Michael there, although he's doing a great job on his website and his uh, channel. Um, yeah, let, let's just ask the question generally speaking for the audience here. Is it a good idea to maybe uh, move out of these states here and, and to get into maybe more freer states is the way the question was asked. If a person can do that, it might not be a bad idea, but, but I don't get it's a, it. You're in imminent danger. I feel like things are going to move in all the states in a more positive direction. Even in the next three, and let's hope that's days, but it could be weeks, could be months, but in the next three. So like if you were, if you felt like you were in, you know, truly just couldn't deal with it anymore. One more second. Uh, but I feel like 
if you can hold off, I think things will get a lot better anyway. Okay. Right? Like, it, okay. it doesn't say absolutely leave right away, but it also doesn't say it would, like, for some people, it might be a good idea. Right. And, you know, also, you and I said this in the previous show, I think maybe two weeks ago, uh, that it might be a good idea to move just because of some of the earth changes, maybe flooding, yeah. some yeah. issues with some uh, power plants, like stuff like that. So if you're guided, if you're guided to move, Follow your intuition and don't stay put, yeah. maybe, with the advice. There's unique circumstances for some people. So mm -hmm. if you really feel intuitively like you're one of those people, uh, mm -hmm. maybe this whole time it's telling you, get the heck out of Dodge, you know. Mm -hmm. But but yeah. other people, uh, if you really feel like you would, you would have to really, really make a shift in your mindset to do that, uh, maybe you're not the ones needing to do that. Mm -hmm. So specific people that might need to hear that but i don't think it's across the board everybody should start migrating to certain states not necessarily from what i'm getting here it's right. going to be a big shift to the to the good in this situation so yeah okay very good uh so mira finally i found you on the chat there so she says wow thank you so much guys i have no idea about the child but of course he's been long enough to have had one so could be a clue there uh, for Mira. So thank you, Mira, and our hearts uh, go out uh, to you here collectively. Okay, next question I'll take from the um, Discord channel. This is from Moto Molly. Question: um, Are the white hats trying to bring down the healthcare system because they know it's not about health? ties into the video you did last Monday, I believe, Janine. Perhaps tangentially. Yeah. Moto Molly. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. Uh, well, you could say bringing down, but I'm getting, they want to bring awareness to that. They want to bring your attention because it's been long. This is in the past. You, people didn't know that. So they, they want to bring your attention or get you thinking about that because I'm sure there's pockets of good doctors and pockets of places where you could actually get good health care. But uh, generally speaking, really big hospitals, we looked at that, like you mm -hmm. said, last Monday, I think it was. Yeah. It was Tuesday, I can't remember. But we looked into that. I looked into it on my Tarot by Janine channel. And it, they're, they're literally dangerous places, large hospitals, because if they've sold out to this agenda that's going on and they've all known about it, apparently uh, the really higher ups who are uh, managing these places, not the people trickling down all the workers and they didn't know about it. Some of them might've, but most of them didn't mm -hmm. most of them find themselves in a very scary predicament where they're going to lose their jobs or speak up for what they're seeing. Mm -hmm. It must be horrifying. And I can't imagine and realizing that you're working for the enemy pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, they want to bring awareness to it. They want us to figure it out for ourselves. They're not trying to save us from this stuff. They want us to decide for ourselves what we want to do with that. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, let me ask you this one next. Uh, I'll go to my Twitter here for this one. Cliff High, uh, two, three weeks ago, saw something, and he, I'm not sure if he said this in a video or if it was in an email to myself here, but now, because of what's on the screen now, I feel I should ask the question here. He said that in his model, he saw an event where the, uh, I'll just call them the men in black for the sake of the conversation here, wearing all the black uh, uniforms, uh, do something to the populace that's so outrageous to the populace that the populace takes that into their own hands and do something absolutely disastrous to the men in black. Um, the word I think he used was massacre. And so now what we're seeing here today is the first part of that prediction where the men in black are doing something absolutely horrible, irresponsible to unarmed citizens. Are we going to see the second part of that prediction that maybe quickly turns the tide here in that neck of the woods. I guess that's all I can say. So you're talking about Australia again. <laughs> yes. Because <laughs> they don't say the word. <laughs> well, yeah. You can't even say 
a place? Oh, the, right now there's a couple of those countries uh, the tags are in for the algorithms. Yes, uh, oh, nice. there's a lot happening there, and of course it's not in the news, and you're not allowed to know about it. So they're trying to prevent this conversation for sure. So we'll do our best, the audience, and if the channel's gone tomorrow, you'll know. <laughs> Not because of Janine, this is just because we're trying to get this stuff out to you, but it's unbelievable very, as you can see. <laughs> well, that is a worry, and this card worries a lot about things, but I take it way down quite a few notches from that word you used. Okay, the M word you used, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I take it down quite a few notches from that. That feels like it'll get, it'll, something way better will happen just in the nick of time. So that could be that next week when some of them start just walking away because they can't stomach. Because uh, there's good, good men in those wearing black or blue. Well, going back to the massacre part, I can say that we're here, the massacre. Um, Cliff predicts language, not necessarily the event. So he's saying that people are going to talk about this language. So that might be how people viscerally feel about what just happened, but it yep. might not be that in, in reality. But we will feel about it that way, and we will act about it that way. And this will, in turn, wake up quite a few more of these normies, which eventually tips the scale here in yep. some of these countries. At least that's what he was talking about. So it very much looks like we're on track yeah. uh, for I that. Think the men in black and blue. Yeah. I should have said blue, yeah. I said blue. Blue. yeah. They're already, uh, so I said, who are they with, generally speaking, in, a, in that A place? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Who are they with the people? Yeah. Uh, and they're already discussing amongst themselves. So some people are saying that the true, the people that show up are UN guys dressed in weird uniforms that aren't the usual. So they, you you may have a large amount of those people showing up, not your the local uh, officers from there, mm -hmm. right? So there's that too, right? Yeah. Okay, so they're already strategizing how to uh, get themselves in a better position so they're more for the people. They're all, I think they're having moonlight talks about it in somebody's basement kind of thing. I think they're already like my feeling is I'm I'm doing that checking out what everybody's talking about, but I'm using tarot cards. <laughs> right, exactly. And I'm getting that they're already uh, discussing how they can uh, get, move over, move this whole thing over. They're not happy with it at all. Wow. Okay. Let's finish on this one. Uh, last weekend, I had this interview with Clef High and David Morgan. David Morgan is the silver guru. Clef High, of course, is the grandmaster of Wu. And in that episode, we talked about this famous web bot data of the $600 silver. And Cliff said, we're here now. And what he was saying is that episode is we're looking at all the temporal markers that are hitting now that are coinciding with the data sets from way back when. So I'd like to ask the cards here, are we in fact here now in the sense that this time is finally different than maybe all of those last years where the government was always able to kick the can down the road and continue to manipulate? Are we finally here at the end of that road, which leads us to the $600 silver? Well, that's a 10 around the situation and 10s are ending. So I don't think they have any more moves they can do to keep it repressed. That's an ending card, even though they're, uh, there's, uh, it, it should have even happened already, but there's been some kind of setback just recently, very recently. And it could have even had something to do with an arrangement or a, a backdoor deal between, I don't know who would that be, Alliance maybe? I don't know who, but there, there's they've made some kind of deal that held it off even this long because it's already, like he said, we're there. Yeah. Okay, with that 10, we're there. And that's the next thing that happens. So going into fall, it really starts uh, taking its true value on. She's very valuable. Uh, she's very independent and valuable and uh, has a lot of her own wealth. Okay, so it's going to start coming into itself. Absolutely. Wow. Well, that makes a lot of sense because if you own physical gold and silver, you are 
a sovereign bank, basically. You are your own bank. That's fascinating. Andy Sheckman uh, provided us with a discount code for silver, and I'll get to that uh, for a second here for that famous uh, interview last weekend. But in today's show and in his recap, he was saying, JC, we sold 18 tons of silver last week. He's never seen that in his career. This guy hasn't slept a week also. <laughs> he's like me, he's got back some of his life doing all these emails, especially since this Cliff High interview. He's saying, yeah. guys, he says, this is not like before. Like everybody yeah. who's still sleeping on the switch here, like Rob Kirby was saying, uh, everybody else is de-dollarizing and they're getting into other assets here, either gold, silver, or crypto. And if you haven't done so already, uh, time is short. And I think the cards just told you here too, we are there now. Uh, so let me bring you that uh, discount code that the uh, folks at Miles Franklin are offering the Beyond Mystic audience. Let me bring that down to the chat for you guys. That's beyondmystic.net forward slash silver. If you guys are interested in any of those, please do contact um, Andy here through this forum to obtain this uh, discount. Now, uh, guys, we are going to get into uh, quite a bit more in terms of the financial situation again here uh, this uh, coming Saturday in the Beyond Crypto Woo episode number five. You can go ahead now and uh, pre-purchase your tickets for that. So let me bring the link down. Uh, the chat for you guys as well here and uh, in that episode here uh, of number five we are going to be diving a lot deeper on that david morgan and cliff high episode because there's many components in there that tie in to perhaps how this financial uh, transition is going to occur so if you guys want to have better timing on all of that uh, please check out uh, this episode janine we're now we're in already is there um anything else maybe do you want to pull some cards for this coming week and perhaps this weekend specifically uh you pulled the tower card here just a few minutes ago for this weekend um let's tell the audience what they need to know here what does the universe want them to know uh to maybe uh, better hold the line here as we go through this uh, next couple of days hmm. well it's it's almost so many major arcanas it's probably talking bigger than just the weekend. So <laughs> the universe wants to talk way bigger. Okay. Okay. So the the whole human race has quantum leaped because this is wisdom and coming into our inner knowing. And we've we've looked deeply into what's our history really saying to us, what's really going on with the Catholic Church, what's really going on with our governments, what's really going on. And we're deeply looking into an introspective on what are what's really been the history of humanity we're starting to realize we're just babes in the woods all relearning this stuff okay and some people can remember and they're helping us along right mm -hmm. who never forgot what a lot of us forgot about what's been going on okay so this card here we've got the sun so this always brings a, a lot of joy and um abundance Okay, so I think we're coming to, because this was in the past, so I think the hardest part after this weekend is going to be, I think, over. I really hope so, anyway, because these two cards say we come into the wisdom and joy part. So there'll be a lot of work because we're going to have to rebuild our whole communities. We're going to have to uh, educate a whole bunch of sleepers that just figured out sort of They've been all wrong about everything. That'll be interesting, right? So there's going to be a lot of that going on and a lot of um, uh, stuff going on. But time for celebration comes. We're getting really close to uh, where we can party in the streets, people. And that, that to me is like, yeah, th those are kind of party in the streets. And don't forget to be thankful and uh, like, because I think it's going to come out in the open. The Alliance has been working on the background and, and, and all the... I I feel like a lot of people are already really thankful for what I do. And I know they're also very appreciative of yourself, Jean-Claude, and lots of the truthers out there. We I feel really loved, so I'm not talking about my own self. But they're, just anybody who helped you through to get, to get to that celebration, including your own self, being smart enough and wise enough to pay attention to your intuition. Like, don't forget, yeah. I'm always thanking... Uh, my my intuition and stubbornness. I was born one of the most stubborn humans on the earth plane. Like my dad said, even as a three pound, three ounce, like when I was tiny, tiny, uh, by the time they took me home from the hospital, I was a preemie. Uh, I was about six pounds. And my dad said, I wouldn't 
let them put on. So they were always trying to put on little undershirts on me, those little, um, I don't know, like um, undershirts, right? Because yeah. they thought I needed extra warmth because I was so little. Yeah. And I hated them or something. I don't know because I don't remember. But my dad said I hold my arms down and in my little six pounds of self. I wouldn't let them put it on. We're not doing that. You're like, no, sir. <laughs> I've been that stubborn about it. Uh, not, nothing anyone says to me is registering unless my intuition said it was okay. Mm. That's how I stayed out of the matrix. Yeah. And that's why I'm doing what I'm doing right now because I didn't fit into the matrix. So I've been a misfit my whole life. Yeah. I finally found a, figured out why. And it's brilliant. So we need to be thankful for those parts of our personality that persevered and got us exactly here. Yeah. Being this wise that we're a little ahead of this curve because it's going to be a curveball for those sleepers that are about to wake up yeah and in my video i did on bit shoot remember a couple of weeks i said we're all going to get this battlefield promotion and that's what janine is talking about here because all these people are going to wake up in this uh, new era that we're walk walking yeah. into they're going to need leaders like you you who are watching the show and who perhaps like janine were stubborn our other lives and figured this stuff out before everybody else you'll be a country mile ahead of everybody so do uh, yes pat yourself on the back uh, just a quick note too i wanted to let you guys know these coins are completely out so uh this was a special for the